I'm under a 95E320 right now, and we're doing the center link and the um, steering dampener. I got a 19 millimeter up here on a flex head ratchet, half inch in size. And it's spinning, so I think I broke it free. Hope I broke it free. This could go one of two ways, very, very difficult or very easy. So we'll see what happens. Oh, dirt in my ear again. I hope that's the right parts. All right, that's one of them. Let's see. 17 millimeter for this dampener. Since I got both of these uh, parts are being replaced, I'm just taking it off as one assembly. working under ramps so I'm limited with space but I get the job done Jay I, I think I'm gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench for this if you can grab it bring the hammer too it's in the it's in the red roll-up uh, snap-on bag I need you could take it out of the trunk put it on the ground uh, unroll it and I need the 17 wrench Probably the hammer too. Oh. Get this one here, same thing. Seventeen, yep. The last time I worked this close to the anything to do with steering, I butchered my finger, I think. I haven't done much steering work. Avoiding any additional oil and dirt in my eyes and face and ears and all day at work. I think this counts as yoga, right, AJ? Oh, no, no Mechanic yoga. I feel like I'm break dancing, but I don't break dance. Bash the finger. I have an impact for this, why am I using a ratchet? Well, I guess to show that it can be done without power tools, I guess. This is a real time video, you know that? Oh. Both sides of that bolt, the nut and the bolt combo is 17. And I think it had, I don't know if it had Loctite, but I'm using Loctite when I put the new one on.
steering dampener is not working too good. That's why we're partially replacing that. Do we have a hammer over here or did you not bring it? Could probably use a pickle fork. shouldn't use that as a hammer. You got those pickle forks? The black plastic box that's uh, to the left. Pickle fork box, tie rod ball joint separators. I was gonna resort to removing that, but that's power tools recommended. Good pair of gloves. I started wearing gloves after I injured my finger. That's for sure. Yep, break that bad Larry open. Is there a bear nearby? I hear some like rustling. There's someone outside. You see something? Yeah, because she said they had bears roaming through here. It could be just like a squirrel or something. Scaring me, dude. I bet I smell like a sweet piece of meat right now after work and not showering. Oh, dirt. Ugh. All right, that's one side. And then this bracket side goes on the passenger side. Mm.
Oh. Bottom of this oil pan just got cleaner. if it's upside down or not. Let's cheat a little bit. Or here to eat the food, not play with it. Cool, just what I like, a little bit of flexibility. Now I'm gonna go down with the blue goo and I'm gonna bolt those down. Oh, uh, what was I doing, 19? I hope these are 19. They are 19, cool. My new magnets. Oh, down below, down below. <laughs> down below try to reach up here and put this new nut on. <clears throat> All right. That side's just loosely on. I just missed a huge piece of rust falling right into my eye. Alright, 
Let's see if old Milwaukee can fit up in here. Just not happening on that side, maybe right here. Nope, not happening. That guy I'll get. Alright, I need, let's see, my 19. Is that even a 19? There it is. I'm going to say, is that even a 19? The only downfall is these are not greasable, but the, old, the originals lasted, I don't know, however long. nylon nuts and it's uh, Loctite so we're looking pretty good. <sighs> German torque spec on these, as tight as you can get them. I really wish my uh, impact would have fit in here. Probably got away with a ratcheting wrench to be a little bit more uh, space. The ground strap probably needs work eventually. I'm good with that. Come on now. What happened to my 17 millimeter socket? I thought I had one for this. Milwaukee, unfortunately, not a sponsor of today's show. That ain't going nowhere. Then this guy. Alright, that one's good. That's good. Those two are good. Loctited all four of them. Uh, let's see, that's good. Road test time. Now 
now we're on that road test. We just replaced the uh, steering dampener and the center link. And uh, that was not my turn. So if I shake the wheel here, I don't hear any weird noises and it's get, get a view of the road. When I'm shaking this wheel, you can see that the car is turning almost immediately when you turn the yeah. steering wheels. I'm not used to these German cars. All right, cruising. This puppy's got 220,000 miles, almost 221,000. Still going. 95 E320. I've been fixing this thing for a little bit. We just did the steering dampener in the center wing just to get it to pass inspection. Just a backup car. It ain't going to win us any trophies. nice sunny day out here to be working on cars. Many choices, many choices. I don't feel sunburned just yet, but I'm sure I'll be red as a lobster when I get home later. 